Hey guys, what's going on? It's Corey from Cruises Reviews. Thanks for joining me today. I am very excited that today I'm going to start a new series uh, in my hometown of Birmingham, Alabama. I love beer, and most importantly, I love going to breweries. So I thought I would start a series about the different breweries in Birmingham. So let me give you a, a breakdown of what we're gonna cover. Basically, I'm gonna cover four or five different things. I'm gonna talk about the quality of the beer, I'm going to talk about the variety of the beer at the brewery, right? I will talk about what I call the churn. In other words, if I go to the brewery once a month for 12 straight months, is it the same beer every time or is it something different? And I'm going to talk about the overall atmosphere, the location, and of course, I'll, I'll cover a little bit about price of the breweries, although most of the breweries around here are about the same price as the rest of them. So enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, please click like and subscribe. I'll be doing these about once a week, I think, uh, just as, as fast as I can get to all these breweries. Let's go. All right, guys, so I am here today in one of my favorite breweries. It's called Cahaba Brewing, and it is placed in an old cotton gin. Uh, so it's a, a pretty cool little area. You can see up behind me, that's the brewery, and there is my uh, bar area over there. And it's a huge space, as you can see, which is really nice. You can space out, and you're not in everybody's way and they will have games here oftentimes, like sports games playing. And as you can see back behind me again, you have the brewery behind a large pail of glass back there. So it's really a cool space. They uh, started out in a much smaller space a couple of years ago and they moved here probably four or five years ago now. So um, again, the name of the place is Cahaba Brewing. And now we are going to talk about some of the best attributes of the, uh, the brewery. So just as a refresher, we are going to cover four basic topics. We're going to cover the quality of the beer, the variety of the beer at the brewery, the churn or how often the beers change. Do they have new beers often? Um, and then of course we'll cover the atmosphere and the just the location itself. So in terms of variety, let me say this place has really stepped it up. When I first started coming to this brewery, when it was at its old smaller location, it was not so great in terms of variety. They only had a handful of beers, like four or five. They never really changed, so the churn factor was not very good either. Uh, but they have really stepped it up. I'll throw up a shot of all the beers they have today, uh, but it's like more than 12, right? So uh, that's really a, an exciting change. This is brewery is also one of the best breweries in the city if you want a variety of beers. So if you're with a big party of people, this place is great. You can find a lot of seating, but they also will have things from stouts, even in the middle of the summer like it is now, all the way to, uh, you know, your IPAs, your light beers. They've got a great beer called the Cahaba Blonde, which a lot of people really enjoy. They also have a sour on, uh, on tap today as well. So the variety, I would give a solid four and a half out of five stars. Very, very good. So guys, if you are curious what I am drinking today, because obviously I can't drink all the beers on the menu, uh, I will just usually pick one or two off the menu, try those, and then I'm gonna move on to my next brewery. Um, so what I'm drinking today is called the Foamy Naomi, and it's an IPA. It's really nice, it's bright, it's fragrant. Um, it's not overly hoppy, but it's not overly juicy either. And so uh, it's excellent. So cheers to you guys, thanks for watching. So here at Cahaba, I would give it a three out of five on the churn rating. Um, they do have their flagship beers on tap here almost year round, but uh, especially recently, they've really started to step up their game and have more experimental small batch type beers uh, on tap when you come here. So I'd give it a solid three out of five.
Okay, so for location, I'm gonna give this place a four out of five stars. It has an awesome, huge outdoor patio, which you'll see in the video uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but it doesn't have an outdoor space where you could easily bring your dogs or your kids and they could run around, right? So it does have music on occasion, which is really great too. Um, but the location, the atmosphere, really laid back, very nice. Again, I'm going to give that a four out of five stars. I would highly recommend this place if you have a big group of people that you need to get seated. So if you're having a big happy hour after work, this is the location for you. It's awesome. So we're down to the most important question of the day. How does the beer taste? Guys, I'm going to give the beer at Cahaba Brewing a four out of five stars. It's not the most earth shattering, greatest beer I've ever had, uh, but I will say that every beer I've had here is good, right? There's nothing here that I've ever had that's bad. There's nothing here that I've ever had that I would send back or not recommend to anybody else. So there you have it, guys. I'll give uh, Cahaba a four out of five on the taste scale. And guys, overall, it's a really enjoyable brewery. I would give it a really high mark, just generally speaking. I'm going to do a video at the end of all of the breweries and I'll rank them uh, from my favorite to my least favorite. Uh, but I can go ahead and tell you guys, this one is going to be on up there. So thanks again, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below. Take care.